Well, welcome, Mr. Gerald Thomas, uh, today, and I thank you for your time and answering these wonderful questions that we have ready for you. Just to get to know you a little bit more, Los Angeles region is a big family, so we love to know uh, about our newcomers that are joining the team. So are you ready? Ready, far away. Wonderful. Okay. So first question, what about joining the LA region are you most excited about? I think I'm, I'm most excited about the change and the opportunity um, to learn a different part of, you know, what we do in the Red Cross and in, in, in my new role as the COO. Um, also excited about getting out to LA and um, being that my wife is from LA and, you know, having an opportunity to get back and have her be near family. Oh, that's very nice. I thought you were going to say food, by the way. LA has the best I mean, food. That, that, co that goes without saying. I travel by my stomach. Uh, right? That's what I love to do. All right. Uh, next question. What is your biggest strength and your biggest weakness? I, I think... My, my biggest strength is my um, level of creativity and innovation and, and um, comfort with uncertainty and being able to um, see to the eye of an issue and, and, and quickly create a, a solution um, to solve that problem. Um, that comes with you know, the, the challenge of um, when you're researching you know, information or data, uh, and sometimes um, kind of getting stuck in searching, you know, for things that kind of end up looking for the ends of the internet and not knowing when to say, you know, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that kind of, you know, bogs me down in, in some ways. Okay. All right. So as you already know, Red Cross has our mission moments that we love to share. So which are experiences that motivate us or inspire us while we're on the job, right? So can you share with me a mission moment you've experienced at one of your previous organizations or maybe here with us at the Red Cross? Yeah, I'll, um, maybe I'll just do one from my time with in the Marine Corps. And um, when I was in the Marine Corps, we were stationed at the embassy um, in Afghanistan and Kabul, and we were do patrols every morning. And one morning, I saw uh, a little girl and a little boy, probably around six years old, with their you know backpacks on. They were holding hands, uh, and they were going to school. And you know, before we had you know come, or you know, before you know we had been there that little girl wouldn't have had an opportunity to go to school. And mm. the, our presence there changed her life and the trajectory of her life, along with all the other little girls um, during that time frame, uh, which is, you know, I'm a little saddened by the state that we, it, we find ourselves in right now. But um, and we know that in country, countries where women are educated and lead, they, they do better on the world stage. Mm -hmm. Love that, love that. And of course you're a Marine and you know, being uh, the director here for service to the armed forces and international services, I'm very honored to have the opportunity to ask you questions. So this question's not on here, but I'm going to ask you, how long did you serve in the Marines? Uh, whew, 21 years, three Woo. and three months. Wow, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much for serving, uh, you know, just by working with military. I know the dedication that, that you put in there and also the family members that supported you along the way. So yeah, as absolutely. a fellow family member, thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for everything. Well, you, you serve too. So you <laughs> serve right that's what I've been told. My sister tells me all the time I'm serving in a different capacity. Yeah. yeah I yeah. just will. I wouldn't put the uniform on. So I commend you for everything that you do for us. Yeah. So, all right. So moving on. Next question. What organizations have you worked with prior to joining the Red Cross? <laughs> so when I retired, um, I, I knew that I wanted to eventually 
make my way um, into the nonprofit world. Um, didn't really know how to do that, how I was going to communicate to um, any nonprofit the value that a um, Marine infantry officer would bring to their organization. So I did a few things uh, before getting there. Uh, I worked uh, as a Senate staffer uh, for about a year after I retired immediately. Uh, then I, I worked abroad for a Afghan startup doing government contracting and I was based out of Dubai. I, and I you know, spent most of my time in, in Afghanistan. I lived in a compound in, in Kandahar outside the wire. Um, I worked in the Pentagon during the um, Obama administration. And ooh, let's see what else have I done. I, I ran a nonprofit in Brooklyn where we were um, preventing families that lived in public housing from losing their homes. Uh, we were a part, we were the quarterback for a collective impact um, program in uh, Brownsville, Brooklyn, which is where Mike Tyson is from. Very, Ooh. very uh, tough neighborhood, but um, you know, very rewarding work. And then I made my way uh, to the Red Cross. Very nice. I love the the diversity and locations where you work, the, the different type of experiences and cultures that you've that you've encountered and you know, President Barack Obama. I mean, that's a big one. You get to work there. That's amazing. Can't yes. wait to hear more stories about that. So another question that we have here for you is, have you done any volunteer work um, prior to joining the Red Cross? Yeah, um, mostly uh, in coaching my kids' sports teams. Um, both of my sons um, played football and basketball. And so when they were, you know, small, I coached their teams. And then when they, you know, got to be a lot better, uh, and outpace my skill sets. <laughs> uh, I, I quickly retired, um, but I, I did, you know, volunteer prior to uh, volunteer with the Red Cross prior to coming on as a paid staff member. Oh, nice! Very, very nice. All right. So, what's the best thing that happened to you this month? Hmm. Um, it's a short month. And it's it's not even over yet. Okay, so can I <laughs> so, can so I jump answer, in can for I answer last month? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So I, I actually have my um, going away today with with my current team, and they they got me um, a, a set of rocks glasses, you know, for for adult beverages, and they're engraved with some of my my sayings, and. Um, <gasps> It was really, really thoughtful. Um, brought a tear to my eye. Um, and um, that is only second to my wife is, is taking us to, to LA this weekend. Mm -hmm. So we get a chance to, you know, do a reconnaissance of, of the city. Nice. So, you know, I can't ask you the next question without um, asking you to give me one of your sayings. Okay. Um, one of my favorites is, you know, around being transparent and um, giving feedback and, and, you know, challenging ideas and not the person. And I like to say that I'm not calling your baby ugly. You know, um, mm -hmm. talking about the issues. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I love it. I can't wait to hear more. Love, love, love. All right. Um, what's something that recently moved you? Um, yeah, telling telling my the story of my uncle on our um, the staff call earlier this week. Mm. You know, it, that that story always gets me every time I talk about my uncle who had sickle cell and and passed away when he was forty two. Um, that always kind of you know makes me miss the eye. Um, but yeah. Thank you so much for your vulnerability and, and sharing that story. I know that uh, it takes a lot, but but you, by you sharing this story, it opens up that platform, that conversation of, of sickle cell that we need to be having more. Um, so thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we're getting into the good stuff. So we want to know 
What is your favorite movie about LA? Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, <laughs> Eddie Murphy. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the man in the tailpipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong there. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. That's a good one. Love it. Um, what makes you laugh no matter what? Uh, you know, um, the movie Trolls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so which one though? No, <laughs> the, the two. original. The original. Okay. The okay. World okay. Tour was great. Uh -huh. but the, original, the original and the sound, the original soundtrack, like that, that man, that, that just makes me happy. Okay. I like that. You know, I actually happen to have seen this a few times myself, being that I have a little munchkin. So yeah. uh, that Justin Timberlake, I tell you. <laughs> just as, yeah, right? <laughs> it doesn't stop. Okay. All right. So let's talk about food because we're both foodies. Um, we've already um, shared here. So what's your favorite type of food wow. and why? Uh, man, that's wide ranging. I know. I, I would say, man, that's what I, whew, that's hard to say. I, I just love it all. Like, if you <laughs> ask me what my favorite food is, I would say ramen. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't say Japanese is my favorite um, type of food. Mm -hmm. but I, you know, love ramen. And I've learned how to make my own during the pandemic. What? Uh, yeah, def definitely. From like the broth and the noodles. Yeah, everything. I'm, I'm in there. I, I, now I love that. So just FYI, you're going to have to join one of our SAF IS meetings because one of the things that we inherited during the pandemic is the, the ability to share food. So we share recipes with one another and we actually do them on yeah. teams. So I would love to invite you and you can be our, our ramen chef and teach us how to do it. Love, Absolutely. love, love. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So when you're not cooking, uh, what book do you read most? Um, what's the, well, I'm sorry, what book did you most recently read or enjoy? So um, I just finished this book called Nudge by um, Thaler and Sustine. And it really talks about how you can help folks make better choices by um, really retooling the choice architecture that's, that's put before them, mm -hmm. um, using some behavioral economics um, principles and the like to, to help people make better choices and to um, improve um, policy decisions which I found to be, you know, fascinating. I'm a bit of a, a nerd in that way. Okay. Um, I also just finished um, Stacey Abrams' book, Lead from the Outside. Yes, I just got that book. You oh. dig in, dig okay. in. Okay. Yeah. You'll Love it. Me. You'll thank me later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't wait to read it. Love, yeah. love, love. That's good. Okay. So now let's get into your, your musical ear. So what is your favorite, either your favorite musician or fa favorite musical group? Uh, definitely all time favorites, Tribe Called Quest. And yes. Love, 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 love my uh, 90s hip hop, my urban philosophers, as I call them. Yeah. Okay. Bonita Applebone. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bonita. <laughs> yes. Left my wallet in El Segundo. Yes. <laughs> Fun fact, I actually took a picture and I really did lose my wallet in El Segundo. And I took a picture and I put that. I was trying to see who's going to catch on to this. <laughs> and believe me, a couple of people did. So I was like, nice. We have some hip hop junkies over here. Yeah. Love it. Tribe Called Quest. You know what? It, you can't beat old school rap. Uh, you cannot. You cannot. So that was a good one. Okay. Love. Yes. All right. So about um, any games that you play with your families, what are your favorite board games or card games that you'd like to play? Um, we do Monopoly and um, Uno. Okay. Ruthless, 
ruthless Uno players, man. Uh, <laughs> we go hard. <laughs> you know, nice. Better people in this house. I love it. You know, it was very dangerous for me to play Monopoly when I was a kid because I think that was, it, it would start fights, you know, people <laughs> just see too many things and, yeah. you know, causing bankruptcy so early. So I'm surprised that Uno, Uno's your, your uh, competitive uh, game in yeah. the household. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, so besides, you know, board games, card games, what is your favorite form of exercise? So I, I do, um, I ride a road bike. Okay. And, um, I've been doing that for about the past six years now. So that, I do that mm. pretty regularly. Yeah. Nice. So, okay. So that's your, that's your form of exercise right there. That board bike. Road Got bike. it. Nice. And um, question about your childhood. So what advice would you give your childhood self? Oh man, uh, I, I would not give them the answers, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> I, I actually like where I ended up. I don't okay. want to change. Um, but I would say, you know, there's a reason for everything, right? Um, okay. And, and to be patient, you know? Um, so there's no, there's no rush, right? Yeah. That's yeah. a good one, patience. And I think that I know I lack patience sometimes, but giving yourself that advice is really good. So, yeah, yeah. sticking to as a child, what did you want to be when you uh, grew up? Oh, man. So as a, as a child of the 70s, you know, there was always, you know, this being a first, right? Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to be the first black astronaut, or I wanted to be, you know, um, a, a race car driver, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, and so um, it's funny that um, in my current role, uh, I am the first black executive, regional executive for the North Florida region. So um, oh. it, it came through. So be patient. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Congratulations. That's huge. That you know, yeah. you, you, you stuck to it, you speak, you know, what you want to become. And I, I mean, you're proof right there that things can yeah. happen. Yeah. So that's good. Good stuff. Okay. So, you know, you, you're coming from Florida and now you're in California. Is there, what city do you wish to visit, whether it's here in California or in a different state? Yeah, I would, I would love to go back to um, Brussels. Um, I really, really enjoyed. I got a chance to, to visit a few times when I, you know, in my last duty station on Capitol Hill, and I would just mm -hmm. love to go back and, and take my wife and, and spend some time there. Um, enjoyed it. Never had a bad meal. Nice. You know, those meals are important wherever we go. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of meals, maybe this, this could help, uh, on, on the next question, where would you go for the perfect trip? Can't say Brussels. Okay. Um, definitely. Um, see, now you're kind of getting me into my favorite food type. So I would say mm -hmm. Italian, and I would go, you know, to Italy and um, just hit maybe like start in Naples and work my way, you know, up, up the coast. And um, yeah, just, you know, just enjoy it, hang out at a, you know, castle on a winery or something. Mm. Nice. So I just want to tell you at this moment, as soon as we're able to meet in person, your sole job for our leadership team is to get us to Italy to do, <laughs> yeah, we're to do, do a meeting. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, and, and we need to eat food. This is a team building exercise yeah. <laughs> that we have to go to Italy to do. Love yeah. it. Actually, Italian's my favorite food, and that's one of my all-time places that I want to go is Italy to enjoy that yeah. food. All right. So uh, we talked about traveling, and it's, you know, sometimes it can be very peaceful, but at times it could be a little stressful. So how do you manage stress? So, um, 
it's kind of <laughs> crazy. So I, 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 I love to watch cartoons. Okay. So I spend a, you know, I'll, I'll watch Disney Plus and I'll watch some cartoons on Disney Plus. I'll play like video games on my iPad and, you know, just kind of veg out to do mm -hmm. some things that don't require a lot of thought. Um, yeah, that's kind of just, nice. You can't go wrong with Disney Plus in, in a couple of video games. I got to tell you, I have an old Super Nintendo console that I have hidden from myself. Because if I get that bad boy out, it's a 24 hour race. <laughs> I don't stop. <laughs> it's not good. Not a good. I might let you borrow it when you come over yeah. Um, yeah. to California. Yeah. Yes. Technical. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what is one thing this is, I mean, I already answered mine. I learned the hard way. What is one thing you have learned the hard way? Um, man. <laughs> I, that, um, you know, that one thing that I learned the hard way was um, this past weekend, I had this romantic notion of hiking a portion of the Appalachian Trail, right? Um, oh. And I got a chance to to make an attempt this past weekend with some with some buddies, mm -hmm. and um, I figured, hey, I've been you know riding a bike, I do a lot of hills back and forth across bridges here, so I, I'll be okay, right? Mm -hmm. um, preparation matters. <laughs> and uh, I learned that the hard way because I got three and a half miles into that hike and realized this is not, a, this was not a good decision and I'm probably not going to make it. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, yeah, like my legs, like every muscle in my legs still hurt right now. So, um, mm -mm. Yeah, preparation matters. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. I, I feel your sentiments um, yeah. over here. Uh, so let's get into some creativity. So what does creativity mean to you? Oh, man, that's like opportunity. Like, mm. you know, it's like, it's like boundless opportunity, you know, and, and, and especially when, and you know, nobody's kind of holding you back. Mm -hmm. that, that is, you know, where I'm in my happy place. Like really being able to deconstruct the problem, you know, and, and figure out the many ways that, you know, you might be able to solve it and, and, and look at it really in some unconventional ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that scares some people, but I, 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 I love it. Yeah. I love that. I never even thought about it that way. Just the opportunity that you have um, being creative and uh, taking it apart and, and, and trying to find a solution. I love how you said that. That's good. I'm going to take that from you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Thank you. It's mine and I'll share. Okay. So um, what is one goal you are determined to achieve in your lifetime? Man, I'm, I'm going to have to come up with a new one because I thought it was going to be the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> <laughs> Off the list. Well, I mean, it could still be a goal. <laughs> now you know. Now you know what you have to go into. No, I am not going back. Like <laughs> walking, walking up and down mountains for six or eight hours a day is, is not fun. That's <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give, that'll be a part two on that one okay yeah, yeah. all right we'll continue what is something you wish you were better at <laughs> go back to that um i i man i wish i were better at reading my wife's mind oh reading uh, minds <laughs> you know um <laughs> so i um i probably wish i were you know had a, a just a tad bit more patience, you know. Okay. And not that I don't have any patience, but I, I could always, you know, go a little slower. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. And I think I know the answer to the next question, but I'm still going to ask you. Um, which do you prefer, the beach or the mountains? 
<laughs> Absolutely, I'm a beach guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> oh man, and the last question is always the best one. You know, uh, I'm really excited to hear what you have to say. What is one thing you love about LA? Um, that it gave birth to the love of my life. Oh, <laughs> I love that. You, you couldn't have answered that better. Yeah. Love, love, love. Your wife is a very lucky person. Love it. Trust Good me, answer. I, I am the lucky one. So. Oh, that's right. That is right. Um, that is a really good answer. Well, Mr. Gerald, I cannot thank you enough for taking the time to answer more than 25 questions, I believe. Um, but it was great to know you just a little bit more. Uh, I thank you so much. And we really look forward to, you know, growing this new fiscal year and all the wonderful things that you're going to bring to LA. So we're welcoming you with open arms. Can't wait to get there. Thanks yes. so much for meeting you too. Likewise, thank you.